Oh, hello. I was just reading some Shakespeare. I, um, I'm here to tell you that I'm sorry, but the Big Van Book Club is going to be pushed up for one more week. Unfortunately, Avalon, well, she had some indie concert to go to. But in the meantime, I thought perhaps we could talk about a special thing that occurred. We got 50 subscribers. Now I had said, it was a little while ago now, I had said that when I get 50 subscribers, I'm just gonna read a poem of a controversial nature. Now since a lot of people have come on the channel since I said this, uh, let me reset the scene a bit. This poem is mostly the F word, so this video is probably not gonna do well on YouTube and uh, you know, you may not be interested in it. So thank you so much. I wanted to let you know that we're pushing up Big Van Book Club to next week. Uh, the other thing I'll add is a little bit of context. So this poem concerns a place called Prince George, which is a place in British Columbia. And Prince George is sort of just a working class town and it's a fine place. What the context of the poem was, was I was there in October, which is not really the time of year you want to be in Prince George. I was doing work there and my flight got canceled after a week of working. And I had to cancel this thing I was doing with friends the next day and I was already kind of not in a good place that year, which I discovered was 2014 when I looked at the book again and I cannot tell you how psychically traumatic that was. Anyways, I was sitting in a hotel room or a motel really. I was stuck there another night because there was fog and they couldn't fly out. And so I wrote this poem that is mostly the F word. <laughs> so thank you everybody for getting us to 50 subscribers. I haven't quite decided what I'll do for our next like milestone, but here we go. This was written in November, 2014. Man, that hurts. It's just called Prince George. The same drains out my brazen fame and days phase up to hateful craze Sing, drink, bring home financier's gaze Dribble for dreams of pot-smoking tears I've sailed on harpoon wings in fears Spinning out the barrel to cold fickle mirrors That see me in the tree of all beetle bees Dust-piled bugwood smiles a pulp mill steam No. Hark! They broke the flow, bundled up in cotton fog bars of prison that dig me in for one more night. How much further to the liquor store? Fuck this place and its ugly wage trap. Fuck my heart's ill-directed goal. Fuck the leather bound tight in olive oil glean to forgetful feet. Here we go. Fuck her, fuck them, fuck him, fuck trees and water and sin, fuck hope, fuck sober, fuck within, fuck dreams and war and kin, fuck love, fuck want, fuck trim, fuck Prince George and PG acronyms, fuck work, fuck praise, fuck whim, fuck hobbies and television. Fuck luck, fuck drink, fuck hymns. Fucking Job doesn't sing what I sing. Fuck everything that felt deserved to take what I've given. Or fuck me that I keep on swinging. It's not a very good poem, but it was written 10 years ago, almost. So that's my excuse. Also, I'm not a poet. Uh, <laughs> I think that much should be clear. But there we go. Thank you very much for 50 subscribers. We aren't reading anymore. Um, then we had assigned last week, we will be discussing the same amount on Big Van Book Club on Wednesday. Uh, just because I, I, if I said, let's read the next few chapters, that would be like a five hour discussion on Wednesday. So we're going to still do part two, uh, next Wednesday and every Wednesday after that, this is an unusual break. Thank you so much for everybody who supported me so far. I'm really looking forward to the future. Take care of yourself.